lead singer and songwriter from the legendary band Kiss, Paul Stanley. Paul Stanley! Welcome. Great to be here. Now, Paul, we actually have some young kids in the audience, Brandon and Cameron. They, they're young musicians attending the School of Rock here. Very cool. So they're going to be just like you someday. But what would you tell them and the rest of the audience about ear safety and hearing safety? One in five teenagers is afflicted right now with a hearing loss. So that's a 30% increase in the last 15 years, not taking into account some of the older people. So, uh, you know, music's gotten so loud, particularly in, in concerts, that some people feel that they're compromising what they're listening to by putting in earplugs. You're not, because the sound is so loud that it's actually vibrating your body. So you're experiencing it. You're not compromising anything. You're just shutting off those frequencies that are going to cause the damage. If you put plugs in your ears, your ears will last a whole lot longer. You can't get back what you lose. And the reason I'm here is probably because there are some other musicians who, if they were up here, couldn't answer the questions because they couldn't hear them. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why he's actually a spokesperson for the House Research Institute's It's How You Listen That Counts campaign. And I didn't know this, but there's a reason why you're so passionate about hearing loss. Well, I was born deaf in one ear. I have a, a, um, a deformity of the ear called a microtia. So what happens is that uh, in my type, which is a level three, you're mm -hmm. aware of these kind, um, there's no ear canal, so there's no way for the sound to go into the ear. So you depend on bone conduction. Up until recently, there was no way to get the sound into the ear without going through the canal. I now have a bone conduction device, which makes it possible to hear. It's a, a little strange for me, but um, it makes me acutely aware of what some people are doing when they go to concerts or listening to music with headphones, earbuds, things like that, or just everyday life. You know, anything over 85 decibels can cause a hearing loss. And a rock concert is usually at least 105 decibels. You can't be around that for more than four minutes, I believe, without the danger of having a hearing loss. Mm -hmm. And, and Paul, we're gonna show everybody out there with, with the help of an animation of what's happening when you're exposed to loud noises like that. It's all about transmitting those sound waves through the external auditory canal to the middle ear and then to the inner ear. It's that inner ear, this thing that looks like a snail almost. And it's, you're, and it's microscopic. It's microscopic. And the key thing is these sound waves are being transmitted into that microscopic organ inside your ear. They have these v extremely delicate so-called hair cells. Cilia. So Boy, you wow, know your stuff. stuff. You know your yeah. ear stuff. And uh, it's noise that at a high level damages these, these sensitive receptor sites, which then transmit sound to the brain, which you interpret as that great m music that you're producing. Very well put. When your ears ring, they're telling you that, that, there's, you, something's that up. there's something up mm -hmm. and you need to turn it down. If you're lucky, you don't suffer from a hearing loss initially. But what happens over time is it starts to deteriorate a lot like uh, what happens with your eyes, with your vision. You don't realize it's happening until exactly. it's too late. And some people <coughs> believe what's going to happen is you're going to lose the ability to hear people. Not necessarily so. What can happen is you lose the ability to understand what people are saying. What happens is it's almost like somebody's putting a hand over their face. It becomes very muffled because you lose certain frequencies, mm -hmm. uh, particularly the high ones, which are essential to making out what somebody's saying. So it's pretty frightening, yeah. especially when you realize that you're not as invincible as you think. You guys going to take his lesson to heart? Yes. <laughs> Put it this way. If you don't listen to somebody in a white coat, listen to somebody in black leather. I love it.